What's up everybody? You already know what we're doing today. We are checking out the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare trailer. Came out on Twitter a little bit earlier. I did not watch it yet. As you see, I keep pausing it this close in just because I want to save it for this first reaction of the trailer. I want everybody to be together for this one moment, but I wanted to wait till they uploaded it on YouTube because they, for some reason they did it on Twitter first. But let's just, enough talking. I want to watch this thing, okay? I, I want to make sure my headphones are up. Yeah, okay, okay. Let's run it. Turn this bad boy up. Let's see this thing. The rules have changed. There's a fine line between right and wrong. And somewhere in the shadows, they send us in to find them. They say actual in-game footage, but I mean, you know this is like a cutscene. This isn't like actual <laughs> gameplay. <laughs> oh snap! Going dark. Oh no way, man! Get up in this too? And the world stays clean. That's the mission. Dang. Is that really it, man? Oh, that's a little bit more. 20 seconds left. Hold up. They might throw something at us. Who's your team? Some old comrades. Welp. Okay. That's it then. <laughs> well, I'm not going to lie. I'm not gonna lie, it was um, it was definitely a little underwhelming because I was, ex I was expecting a lot more out of this trailer. When they're saying in-game footage and all this stuff, I didn't think they actually just, you know, you know, the cutscene trailers that they put together to make it look as cinematic and amazing as they possibly can. I mean, let me just mute this and I want to just quickly pan through this really fast just so I can get a full feel to it this part right here though this part was epic it kind of lost me at the halfway point into the end but this part right here this was fire i love seeing all these characters right here man okay man i i guess i soaked it pretty much in i i wasn't really expecting it to be just one minute i was, I was expecting a lot more like a reveal and everything but you know what i think it's going to be i think they're probably going to talk about a little bit with the game throughout the day so i'm going to actually cut this now I'm going to wait a little bit. I'm going to see if Charlie Intel or Infinity Ward or anybody starts releasing more details or screenshots or anything about the actual gameplay. Fingers crossed. If not, I'm just going to edit this up. Maybe I'll talk about the game a little bit more and what I wanted it to be out of this trailer in the actual, you know, after party of all this. But thank you guys for checking out this reveal, but let's let's get into all the other stuff. Alright guys, so I waited a couple of hours after the fact of the trailer just to see if Charlie Intel releases more content, and let me tell you, yes they did, they released a lot of stuff. But before we get into all of that, I just want to just sum up everything that I watched on the trailer one last time, because I did watch it multiple times after the first initial impressions of it, I did go back and continuously watch it just to see if I would enjoy it a little bit better. Now, first off, I just want to say I do understand why they did this type of trailer. This is their first trailer, pretty much describing what this game is going to be. This is their selling point for pretty much everybody. This wasn't really a personal trailer for all the hardcore Call of Duty fans to, you know, get in-depth to see what the multiplayer is going to be like and campaign and all that stuff. But I think a lot of us wanted to see some actual gameplay, you know, not the cinematic stuff, which is always appreciated. But they should have at least added, like, a couple of clips in there, which was, you know, actual first person in the person's body gunning people down I think people would have appreciated that now even though this was just a campaign I feel like they should have showed more because they were pretty much advertising this game as probably the most intense Call of Duty experience since like no Russian from Mono for 2 that's what they're comparing that to and you guys remember no Russian being able to mow down hundreds and thousands of people in an airport 
That was pretty intense, and they didn't show anything like that. Maybe to, you know, save the suspense and make it more exciting when you actually play it. But that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to see... And don't take that wrong. Please do not take that wrong. I'm not, I'm not looking forward to any of this crazy stuff. I'm just saying, I haven't seen Call of Duty be this ballsy in a long time. And if they actually take this route and they are going to be this ballsy, this might be a strong return with the franchise. Now, enough with the trailer. I want to get into the, the deep details of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now, like I said, I was going to try to keep a cool cap on this whole situation. But it's so hard not to let the hype take over when I'm seeing everything that's in front of my eyes. And these are facts. It's n These aren't uh, anything that's fake. This is all facts that I'm about to spit to you guys. And I am absolutely mind blown about some of the things that they're doing with this, this current Call of Duty title. And I'm, like I said, I'm going to try to keep the hype in, but it's going to be hard. But the first thing is that the DLC is going to be free. The DLC is going to be free. When was the last time we've ever seen free DLC for Call of Duty? Never. Never in Call of Duty history has this been done. This is the first time ever we're going to mark this date. Call of Duty Modern Warfare is not having a season pass, no DLC maps that you purchase, everything is free. Now this worries me. You guys see Battlefield 5, they did the same thing. Free map packs, and look at how we're getting them. We have gotten two maps since the launch of that game. Two maps. I can't even imagine how Call of Duty Modern Warfare would be if it has no content in it already, if they refuse to give us enough maps at launch, and then we're getting content at such a slow pace because they're, you know, they're, the prices are dropped because they're not selling any more season passes and no more DLC maps are being sold for money. So they're, you know, instead of giving us four, three to four DLC maps, they're going to give us one DLC map every three months or something crazy like that. God, I hope that does not happen. I hope that this is just going to be a strong move. They're going to continue to release DLC maps like they're doing right now. And it just moves at a nice flow. If they do that, everything should be okay. But if they take the Battlefield 5 path and just make sure that they give us like one map every 3-4 months, I'm not going to be happy. Cross-platform. That's all I got to say. Cross-platform, baby. That's it. In Modern Warfare, there's going to be cross-platform. I never thought I'd see the day where Call of Duty would finally allow PlayStation, Xbox, and PC to play all together. Now, it's a plus side and a negative side to this. Now, I can finally play with you guys, all of my viewers, and I can play with my friends that are back on the PlayStation 4. All my friends are on console. Nobody plays PC, so pretty much I chose to play PC for the YouTube content. So I'm pretty much playing alone 24-7 until people hop on, which is very, very, very rare. So all my friends are on the console, so I'll finally be able to team up with them again. And also for everybody else out there, Xbox people, PlayStation people, if your friends are on different platforms, you all can play together as well. This is perfect for everybody and this will increase the call of duty player count it's like they're finally getting it they're finally getting it their minds are opening they're finally understanding why nobody is playing their game and it's split between like five six different call of duty titles instead of everybody playing on one title because we are split up the map packs split us up console exclusives split us up all these different things split us up, and now they're finally understanding and they're fixing it. Now, the negative side to all of this is that PC is going to be added into the whole mix. Now, I don't think it's going to be like you're on PlayStation, you're playing solo, and you lobby up with a bunch of PC players. No, I don't think it's like that. I think it's if you have a PC player in your party, then you will party up with PC players as well. But if you don't have any PC players in your party, it's not going to, you know, cross you over. It's not going to put you through that pain and torture. Another thing that is confirmed for Call of Duty Modern Warfare is a brand new engine. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. No longer the same engine that we've been seeing for the past five plus Call of Duty titles. They're finally changing it up, and I kind of noticed a little bit in the trailer. I thought something seemed a little bit different, but I'm not exactly sure. It's no way to tell until we actually get inside the game itself, and we can all play for our own sake and, you know, see with our own eyes. But right now, I'm just taking Charlie Intel's word about all of this stuff. They say it looks great, but you know how things go. It's a lot of stuff that's going on with Call of Duty, and people will say stuff to hype it up. So, I'm not going to believe 
leave this one until I actually see it with my own eyes. But it's a good thing that they are actually changing up the engine. But the bad thing about this is that it's confirmed that, that all the studios who are creating Call of Duty will be using this brand new engine as well. This worries me, because what if we don't like the engine? What happens then? This is going to be the same situation that happened with all the Jetpack CODs. They were already all developing Jetpack Call of Duties. So what happened? Every single year we we're stuck with the same thing that we hated. So now, all these developers are developing with the same exact engine. If we do not like it, then expect the same engine for maybe two years. I think Sledgehammer's cut. So unless they add another developer in, it probably won't be three years anymore. So for two years, we're going to be using the same exact engine. I don't think this is very good, but I mean, what could go wrong? It's an engine. I mean, that's pro that probably can't destroy the core gameplay of Call of Duty. And the last few little details about this aren't really that crazy, but I just wanted to throw them into the video anyways. There does look like there's going to be Spec Ops, which if you guys don't remember from like Modern Warfare 2, where it was those little co-op missions that you could play with friends or split screen or anything like that. That's pretty cool. I always enjoyed those. And nowadays, with how content is continuously added into the game, it won't get stale like Modern Warfare 2 did, where you just play the same missions over and over again. They'll probably add more missions along the life cycle of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So I really like that. It's a cool idea. I can't wait to see that put into the game. Another thing is that pretty much they're trying to say that Call of Duty is going to be one whole experience. And the best way they described it here is that all of your weapon progression through campaign, multiplayer, and co-op will be linked together. So if you use that weapon in campaign, you will rank it up for multiplayer as well. So if you don't have a red dot yet, you can unlock that by just playing campaign. That's pretty cool, and I'm a little curious to see how they're going to make that work for everything else as well. Because like I said, they only gave the one example. So how is the rest of the game going to work like this? How will campaign, multiplayer, and co-op work with everything else in the game? Will you be able to level up as well if you just play campaign? And the last thing I just want to talk about is that COD Points will be making a return. According to this little thing here that Charlie Intel released, letting us know what we get with all the different pre-order uh, levels, the base version, middle version, most expensive version, all that stuff, it does show COD Points there. And I'm not too mad about this. Like I said, this game is looking promising. Free DLC is always a good start, and giving free stuff to us just in general is a great idea to sell this game. So already, I'm pretty willing to spend some cash, and it's been a while since I've actually spent cash on a Call of Duty game for anything. I think the last thing I spent cash on was crates in Infinite Warfare, but that's the only thing I've ever spent it on. Usually, I just purchase the DLC maps. But now they're making it a reason for me to possibly want to get crates, especially if they come out with cool different skins and stuff. I might actually get some, especially if they keep it in this format. If they don't start, you know, shoving things down our throat and making us want to just bomb it with all the microtransactions in this game, then it's going to be an issue. But so far, so good. But that's going to sum up this video, everybody. I'm trying to get this out as quickly as I can today for everybody. I want to uh, make it so it's relevant still. It's currently 3 o'clock p.m. I'm going to try to get some clips on this one and export it and all this good stuff, upload it to YouTube. I'm going to try to aim for 5 p.m. Eastern time, maybe earlier if I'm lucky, but we're going to have to find out. Thank you all for tuning in to yet another video, though. I really do appreciate all of you guys, especially the ones who actually stay until the end. I, like I said, I'm trying not to be hype about this, but it's so hard to not be hype. Like I said, I'm a hardcore Call of Duty fan. I love Call of Duty, so hyping me up is not hard at all. It's very easy, but I'm trying to keep a cool head. Oh, God, but free DLC, man. Come on now. Cross, pl cross play with all these other players. It's going to open up lobbies to everybody. I won't have to wait 20 minutes just to find a lobby. And oh, my God. Life is about to be good. I'm hoping life is about to be good. I got my fingers crossed. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Dislike if you absolutely hated it. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification button if you want to be notified on all my recent uploads. And also, you can always chat with me on Twitter if you like, at JBonaMan. And you can catch me streaming on Twitch, at JBonaMan as well. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.